Hi guys, Doug Schrift with Elder Gym. Today we're going to go over four exercises with a resistance band to work your upper and lower body. Now a resistance band you can pick up at any of your big box stores. They're all about 48 inches long and they have handles. Handles are great for seniors. Now when you use a resistance band you can either hold it by the handles or you can hold it by the tube. So let's go over the first one. The first one we're going to do are some biceps. So what you want to do is sit in your chair and you're going to place the band underneath both of your feet. So the handles are coming out the side. I'm going to stand up so that my arms have a little traction on them, a little pull, and you can adjust it by bringing your feet out or in. I'm going to lift my ribs, bring my palms forward, and I'm just going to lift up and down. Just kind of lift toward your shoulder and down. You want to keep breathing. Nice and slow. Slow is always better than fast when you're exercising. Let's try three more. One, two, and three. Excellent job. All right, let's try another one. I'm going to sit down for this one here. Let's try a um, let's try an overhead press. So for the overhead press, we're going to do one arm at a time. I'm going to be sitting down. I'm going to place the band under one foot. I'm going to rest my resting hand on my opposite knee. Hold the other band about shoulder high, palms are forward, and just lift towards the ceiling. Try to keep that band in front of your face so your shoulder doesn't hurt too much and just lift straight up. And that's it. Keep your ribs lifted, your chin up, keep breathing, in through the nose, out through the mouth, and you're just lifting up. If it's too hard, you can cheat up a little bit and bring that down, hand down there, and that will really lessen the force on that. Let's try the other side. So for the other side, I'm gonna step on it with my left foot this time, Put my right hand on there, hand palm forward up to my shoulder, ribs are lifted. Take a breath in and let's start lifting up towards the ceiling. Just keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep your hand a little bit farther, a little bit in front of your face so that your shoulder doesn't hurt. Now we're just going to lift straight up. That's it. Here you go. Let's try three more. One. Two, if it's too hard, you can loosen up a little bit. Three, and relax. Excellent job. How many we've we done? We've done two. Let's do, um, let's do a pullback. We'll do a shoulder pullback. Now this is really good for seniors. This is really good for your posture, this next one. And it'll be working on our leg strength a little bit also. So I'm gonna be sitting in my chair, <coughs> um, pretty straight. What we're gonna do is cheat a little bit and pull up Put our hands a little bit closer to our feet. We're gonna bring that leg up, and you can see I'm holding on to the band right now. I'm gonna bring my knee towards my chest, starting in this position. Just extend your legs out and squeeze your shoulders together all the way out. Hold it and back, that's it. Keep breathing. I'm extending my leg out, squeezing my shoulder blades together and back. Let's do two more on this side. Here we go. Leg goes out. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Elbows come back. One more. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And back. And you can do this on both legs. I'll do one or two on this side too. So I'm switching sides. Now I'm working this leg and I'm continuing to work my back. So I'm going to bring that knee towards my chest. I'm going to extend that leg out and pull those shoulders back. Bringing your shoulders back is a great exercise for seniors for your posture. Bring those shoulders back. Let's try one more. Here we go. Keep breathing while you're doing this. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Excellent job. All right, let's try one more. Boy, we're working kind of our whole body. This one here. We're going to bring the band around your back. You can bring it around your back or the back of the chair. 
however the chair is for you. Now what I'm going to do is hold on to just the tube part and you can hold on to, if you hold on to it closer it'll be harder, if you hold on to it farther away it'll be easier. So you can adjust this according to your strength. What we're going to do, we're going to sit nice and tall, chest is lifted, chin is up, and breathe in. As we exhale, push that band straight ahead and out. You can keep your hands, you can keep your palms facing each other. That's kind of the easiest thing to do, just bringing it out and in. Now we are working on our shoulders, we're working on our chest and our back. Nice and slow. Keep breathing. Let's try two more. One and two and relax. So that's it. That's four exercises you can do at home with a uh, resistance tube which you can pick up at any of the big stock box stores. Remember they're all about 48 inches long and they have handles. So you can get a medium or light, they do have different sizes. I would start with a light and work your way up to a medium. That's it for this week. Really appreciate you guys hanging in there. If you'd like to, click the subscribe button right there and support the channel. Uh, it really helps me out. If you want to come and join us at Elgin Academy, just click the link right there. I'll tell you all about it. Thanks a lot. See you next video.